Hello, everyone. We are broadcasting live from the big sleazy inside the Terror Dome, where the fans have been drinking since Friday, <laughs> decked out in purple, green, and gold, screaming for some violent action. Yeah, kind of like you last night on Bourbon Street, huh, Grim? Yeah, last night never happened. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The Carolina Panthers battle the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First day. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, eight. And he's running like a... And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the runner is going to break and the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. A nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot Interception, and that's how you step an offense. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. The quarterback 
rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Third down and six. And that play went nowhere fast. No gain. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Hot one. Hot. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of brown mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and long. And that is a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and three. They could not connect on that play. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points, and let's move on. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, and oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second down and nine. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. And 
defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. I thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot of... Oh, with the brutal hit! It's the all-you-can-eat buffet. The ref that just called that family, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. You... He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? First down and forever. on that pass. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Second down and a lot. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly... The offense is pretty much unstoppable. It picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Man, oh man, they lined up and faked it. Just like my third ever. They only kept it on the ground and got a much-needed conversion. Much like the well-dressed young men who won't stop knocking on my door no matter how many times I tell them, we worship Satan in my house. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Pow! And that's how you shark the monkey. Thunderclap! And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, man. And that'll be second down and four. And another interception. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And that'll bring up second and one. Meets the explodable object. Oh, what a punishment!
position his dad was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just... The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Third down and long. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. The punishing hit. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. It's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And they run it for a couple of yards. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Not much there. Uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and seven. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Drop the 
bunch of bunts. Third down and the punter is warming up. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put... The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Briggs. He refuses to go down. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. He could go all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it intercepted, though. Boom! Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Yeah, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not elite. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up, Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning.
The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. What is going to happen either way, Grim? It's a $1 Red Bull Crap and Vodka Jello shot day. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps offside, trying to mutilate the kid. And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. <laughs> The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Great shoestring tackle. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, man, what a hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And that's another turn. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten.
Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! They're looking for a good return after giving a point. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Hey, uh, bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. is a first and long and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore <laughs> first down in a mile And it's first and ten. And like a monkey, and the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so Oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the nil dot about it. That guy is dead. He 
says, I'm taking you with me. And he's off to the races. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Third down and a pussy here. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. And he's off to the races. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, and please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and 10.
I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, he really works. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And with another pick, the QB says... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out, First and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Hey, man, I was hanging on the panel now. You all my head.
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make a pay. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. He could go all the way. But ten. He just put that guy out of his misery. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he did this, stand the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp. Some kid runs up to me and stabs me. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Touchback. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided-out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of... And he was stuck to him like glue. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell? It's the same thing as that. And he breaks away. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 20. He's up. And he just wrestles away. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky 
tasty fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. It's a touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. The quarterback unleashes us, and then, oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. force meets the explodable object. Unfortunately for this home crowd, these weren't the fast, scary zombies of the modern era we're used to. Nah, they were more like those ones from the 60s or people on Insta Slam. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over the troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. I'm a house devil, devil. Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other.